you know, I, I realized that I had already given a, a, a little video answer to this last one about Obama's speech, and I know this is old, but uh, new information's come out, and you know how things are. So uh, I always enjoy you Turks, young Turks, great. You guys, got it. you you nail it pretty good. Except I gotta say, this time, uh, as much as you want to respect Obama, as much as I wanted to respect Obama, I, I feel more and more betrayed every freaking week, every time I turn around. And uh, I made a video about this earlier, you know, about uh, when it first came out, the fact that they had chosen a, a new, okay, congressional chaplain. Yeah, I know, me too. Excuse me? You mean our government pays a monotheistic chaplain, always monotheistic, always Christian, it's never been anything else, to say a prayer before they start Congress every day. They pay the guy too. And this year, they were so happy, they were so glad the media was that he was a Catholic. Excuse me? Media didn't say anything about separation of church and state. They didn't say a freaking word about, is this right? I didn't know there was a congressional chaplain, like some people would say, because they didn't know. I'm sure a lot of atheists out here didn't realize that we, our government, part of our taxes go to paying for a congressional chaplain. Let's not forget the senatorial chaplain. The White House chaplain. What the fuck? Trust me. They're trying more and more to make this a Christian nation. I mean, even Barry now has uh, chosen his church, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they're not. But he's disrespecting his daughters. Because they know who he really is. And uh, now, when he was running for president, running for Senate, with such and such, he was all for same sex marriage. He supported gay marriage and all that. I mean, he was all for, you know, yeah, let's make it laws, nobody else's business. There's videos of him saying that. Now, all of a sudden, he says he doesn't support same-sex marriage. And that his feelings on that are evolving. Excuse me? They were like devolving. <laughs> I mean, come on. And they, they still have the don't ask, don't tell policy in order. I don't get it. When they had that crime about uh, the, the segregation with the African American community and stuff, even though the Hispanics were welcomed and uh, allowed to do anything in the service, blacks, however, for some reason were treated differently. Well, we know why, because of the old presence. This is the way the government's been for the longest freaking time. But President Truman was, you know, being a smart leader, he gave an executive order that you will integrate. No more segregation. Anybody who countermands these orders or goes against them is, you know, you're uh, guilty of treason because you're uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you're Excuse me, you're not following the orders of a superior officer. You're commander in chief. So you can be kicked out of the service yourself. Now, all he has to do is give an executive order that don't ask, don't tell. It doesn't matter because you shouldn't even be asking your turn. It doesn't matter. You're either a male or a female. As far as that goes, you tell your gender. Your sexuality, however, is a different thing. What are they supposed to do? Put it on the applications. Gender, male. Sexuality, what? They're not going to do that because it's against the constitutional rights of any individual to be exposed that way. That's bullshit. 
So why you can't just give an executive order and say, stop it. Whoever wants to serve can serve. It's none of your business what they do in their bedroom. Why can that not be done? All this crap about, well, we're looking into it. Oh, we got a committee to blah, 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 bullshit. That's another thing. Another betrayal. It's not done. It started, Turks, with the very first speech he did right after getting elected. Found out that the biggest group that voted for him, that supported him, were the online communities and medical marijuana smokers and users and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, proponents of that. And what did he do? Just goes to show you what kind of people are on. He made fun of us. Instead of thanking us and getting online and thanking us, he betrayed us. Starts out by making fun of us. Then he doesn't do any of the stuff he said he would do. He tells the, uh, he gives us this lip service about medical marijuana. He tells the, the, the uh, uh, prosecutors, oh, don't spend any money now uh, you know, prosecuting medical marijuana patients. Uh, you, you really know we, we don't, we'd rather you didn't do that. Uh, what? Is that an order, a policy, or what? Nothing. So I made a little video about it. What's with the lip service, Barry? You can't just tell people about money. You got to order them. Be a leader. Tell them stop messing with this. It's a medicine for us. Leave us alone. No. He didn't do that. But he did get on a couple of days later and actually gave an order that you're not supposed to. Uh, we don't want federal prosecutors prosecuting medical marijuana patients. That was it, though. <laughs> of course, it doesn't matter. It's crap. The DEA is going nuts. And now more and more and more. Oh, boy. It's incredible. And the guy says he'll keep betraying us. Trust me. So, Turks, you guys got some pull. People respect you. I respect you. You've got a good voice. You do good research. I know you want to support your man, but, man, he, he seems like he's becoming a Republican. That he's more than willing to go along with, oh, my gosh, in, instead of, like, Let's not drop any bombs or shoot any bullets for three days. And take that money would have been spent on those bombs and bullets and such. For those three days, just stuck dead in the water, wherever your ship is, plane, parking, whatever you do, for three days. How much money would we save? We can do that. We'll do it for like, you know, split it up 12 hours at a time so that we have some on guard. Close down some of those European bases that we don't need. Germany, France, Italy. We don't need to be spending money over there right now. There's no real threat. There are so many things to cut besides. Like Social Security is and was an entitlement process that we pay into as we work. It's not a welfare check at the end of your life. You worked all your life. You give you give give up your social security insurance all your life, every check, something, twenty, thirty, about whatever it is. It's your retirement fund. That's what it was set up for. And now you're telling us it's going broke or whatever it is. How can that happen? That's impossible. Because people only get out according to what they paid in. So how can it go broke? I don't understand that. And now they want to cut it? It's not theirs. I don't get that one. Wait till they get to be 75 and 80 and they can't work anymore. And they're on Medicaid or Medicare. How do you think they'll feel when they hear this kind of shit? That instead of, you know, like, stop shooting bullets and dropping bombs for just a day or two, you know, and save that money and put it somewhere else. Stop subsidizing all these huge companies, especially oil, uh, energy companies. How could you do that? 
first of all, Enron and them get busted artificially inflating the prices. But when they get busted after everything's taken out, blah, 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 they go to yell and they didn't put the prices back to where they belong. They left them at the artificially, illegally, artificially inflated price. They left them there. What's up with that? Why is it illegal for Enron to do it and not illegal for the government to leave it there? Answer me that question. Let me get in there and look at all these things. You know, there are a lot of small subsidies and stuff that we don't really need to be paying for as, you know, in the government. One thing the Republicans are right about, we do need smaller government in certain places. What we need to concentrate all the money on, the taxes, is public safety, of course, which includes military, but only to a point, for crying out loud, we don't have to be policemen of the world or whatever. We can be. It's not that difficult. There's places that we can go into and you say, man, stop it. We can. There's a lot of ways you can, you can cut a lot of different spending besides going into Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, or any of that. Like I said, stop shooting bullets and dropping bombs for just a day or two. Save that money. Somebody count it up. How much could you save? How much would we save if we put a moratorium on uh, dropping bombs and fighting for just a day or two? Like dug in somewhere and let them come, you know. But if it's real, that's really necessary, of course you got to defend yourself. But basically, in the long run, generally, most of the military can just stop for a couple of days and not operate anything and save that money. With as huge as our military is, it'll be billions of dollars. Yeah, I, I believe we spend billions a day. Possibly billions a week. I mean, if your uh, budget's uh, in the trillions. <laughs> Incredible. There's only 52 days a week. Only 52 weeks in a year. Only 365 days. And if you count, if you divide 1 trillion by 365, you get about 3 billion. Three or four billion a day. Stop shooting and dropping bombs for just a little few days and see how that works out. There's a lot. So many. You guys, look into it a little more. Let's hear a real answer. Let's hear some real answer to the questions I asked about, uh, you know, the, how he's treating medical marijuana now, uh, how he's treating uh, the Christianity thing now, the, the separation, so called separation. Great speech he made, but I don't know if he believes it. I mean, Matt Maher jacked him so hard about choosing a church, he actually went out and chose a church. But he won't tell anybody what it is. Like, I guess. His daughter's probably embarrassed. I mean, because I think she's an atheist. And she's probably embarrassed that she has to go to church with him. Just to appease your dad and his Republican, his uh, Republican uh, friends. And just. Right. Immediately, keeps keeps Bill Gates on his department as Secretary of Defense until now. Come on, are you crazy? Yeah, he was the architect of, of, of Desert Storm, man. That immediately, I just went, oh my God, why did he do that? And then it went on and on. So get a grip. With this report of yours, I. He's full of shit on this speech. All right? See you later, you guys. Like I said, I respect you a lot. I have a lot to say for you. You're great reporters. You do good research. Uh, he's turning into a liar. Barry. Yeah, I'm just an earthling. You know that. 